So I'm just going to take a brief moment to uh, mention <clears throat> what a quote-unquote fast food chain that is consistently impressed me. And I, you know, I, I try not to eat fast food too much. Uh, I have been more than normal lately because I haven't gone shopping, and you know, that's kind of the option that I have besides shopping. Uh, I'm pretty full out in my apartment right now. Uh, between my girlfriend and I, we just don't don't have the volume of food to make right now. We have to go shopping. However, this place, as far as Americano Mexican food goes, it's very consistent. And it's all chicken based. Pollo Loco. It's crazy chicken. <laughs> It's really, really good. I don't know how they marinate their chicken. I don't really know what their whole process is. What I do know is that when you go and you spend eight, nine dollars for a meal nowadays, a lot of the fast food places you go to, it's shit for what you're paying. I mean, shit for what you're paying, and that's why I, I don't go to those places anymore. Uh, put a local, however. They do a couple of things very well. Volume of, of food for the food meal you're getting. The burritos that they have are fucking huge. Uh, are they Chipotle huge? No. But they're big enough that no matter what appetite you have, you're going to be full or very close to it. And then they give you this little bag of chips. Now, at first I was like, well, I'm getting gypped because I had that concept like the typical uh, drive through restaurant more for the money, but the quality and the amount of food you get from them, whether it's a plate or you're making a meal out of a burrito or some tacos, is enough that, and good enough that, the inclination to eat more is kind of gone by the time you're done with it, and the small chips and the salsas, if you, by the way, if you ask for a lot of salsa, it's not like getting two or three extra packets at like Filiberto's or Andy Berto's. You get like a half a fucking bag full of fucking salsa. So always ask for extra salsa. Always. Their uh, tomatillo sauce. Oh man, it's good. Man, it is fucking good. Um, and everything's made fresh. That's the thing. Everything is truly made fresh. You know, there's uh, Cafe Rio off of Rural and Baseline. Their food is, their barbacoa, good God. It's really good, but fuck are they expensive. And... I can't do that all the time, you know? I can't do Chipotle where a burrito is seven fucking dollars for a burrito. I just, I can't fucking warrant that. And so for me to have a meal that fills me up, because I'm not a small dude, and is healthy to a point, and a value for the amount of money, I vote for El Pollo Loco because the quality for an Americanized Mexican food is top notch. It really is good. Uh, is it the best? American Mexican food there is, I don't know, I typically try to go as authentic as I can when I go to eat Mexican food, and I typically go to a restaurant to do so. Uh, most of it in the valley is very non-authentic. You know, Rosalita's, uh, Garcia's, um, Macayo's, Manuel's, um, La Perilla Suiza, Abuelo's, you know, all these places, they're they're pretty damn good. Um, but just keep in mind that they're Americanized versions of true Hispanic type cooking. And to, to carpet call them Mexican food is an insult to Mexican food. Because the different regions in Mexico have vastly different dishes and different flavors to them. And we really have done a disservice as a nation to... Hispanic cuisine, Latin cuisine as a whole, by calling it a blanket statement of Mexican. Puerto Rican, Colombian, Cuban, uh, Dominican, Caribbean food, like Jamaican food, they all have their different flavors, and they're all centric to what kind of part of the world they're in. See, what we don't realize, well, most of us in this country don't realize, is that unless it's Asiatic, Arabic, Germanic, or Saxon-type 
um, races like English, about 78% of the world is Latin in some way. You know, the Italians are uh, a form of, of uh, Indo-Latin race. The Greeks, Mediterranean uh, Latin type. The Philippines were uh, um, infused with Spanish. Yes, Spain right there. Uh, Madagascar, Portugal, French, Spanish. Portuguese people are fucking beautiful, man. Their food is so phenomenal. Brazilian, I mean, you know, you got all this. Venezuelan, there's so much vast difference that blanketing any kind of Latin cuisine just under Mexican food is, it's fucking retarded is what it is. But for Americanized fast food, this place is hard to beat. I mean, it really is. You know, if I'm going for a greasy-ass burrito like a Pastor or a California or, you know, one of these other ones... I'll go to any of those Bertos. I call them any Bertos because half of them have been sold to employ former employees. But they're all good in their own way. But if I want something that's quick and still tastes good and fills me, it's going to be El Pollo Loco because of the cost to the quality of the meal. 